Hi, our topic is uh, Huffman coding technique. Uh, let's start with this example of a Huffman coding technique. A text is made up of characters A, B, C, D and E with frequencies 8, 4, 2, 1, 1 respectively. What will be the average length using Huffman coding technique? First of all, what is Huffman coding technique? Huffman coding technique assigns the codes to these characters A, B, C, D. So codes can be like uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, something like that. So Huffman coding technique uh, gives this strategy that the character which appears maximum time, yani ki jiske frequency sabse jyada hai, usko sabse kam number of bits ka code diya jaye. And the reason being, taki agar hum aisa karenge, to usse jo length hai, humare text ki wo minimum aayegi. So let's start it. Uh, first of all, we will write these characters in the descending order of their frequency. Here it's already given in the descending order, so we don't have to bother much. So just write in descending order the frequencies of these characters and this A, B, C, D and E. Now we have to sum up these two characters in such a way that the sum is minimum. Like here, if we join D and E, the sum of the frequency would be 2. And if we will join C and D, sum would be 3. So of course we will join D and D because it will give us the minimum value. So here comes D equal to 2. Now if I have joined a character once, I cannot join it again. So D and D I have already joined, so I cannot join them again. Now C can be joined with D E or C can be joined with B. So if we join C with D E, it will give us 4. And if we we'll join C with B, it will give us 6. So we will join C with D E because it is less than 6. C, D, E will give us 4. So same way we will continue here. If we will join B which is 4. With 4 it will give us 8. But it will join with 8. It will give us 12. So we will go with this. Which will give us 8. So again A is left. So that's it. A, B, C, D, E. And this is 16. And you will see on the top it will contain all the characters. A, B, C, D, E. And this 16 would be the sum of the frequencies of all the characters. If we will sum up these frequencies, it will give you 16. So after that, you will start with the top and you will assign 0 to the left path and right to the 1 to the right path. Like here, 0 and 1, 0 and 1, 0 and 1, 0 and 1. So now to assign the code to A, you will start from the top and you will see how you are uh, reaching till A. So only using 0 you are reaching till A. So you will assign the code 0 to A. To reach at B you have to cover the path 1 and then 0. So the code would be 1 0. And for C you have to cover the path 1 1 0. So the code would be 1 1 0. And for D you have to cover the path 1 1 1 and 0. So 1 1 1 0 would be the code. And for E, it would be 1, 1, 1 and 1. So the path would be 1, code would be 1, 1, 1. So if you count the number of bits assigned for the code, for the characters, we have assigned only 1 bit, that is 0 to A, 2 bits to D, 3 bits to C, 4 bits to D and 4 bits to E. Now you see that A ki frequency was maximum. So the number of bits was assigned ki? only 1. And E ki frequency was minimum. So it was 4 bits assigned. Ki hai. Isliye ta ki length jo aai, total was minimum. Aai. So now we have to calculate the average length. So average length would be equal to total length divided by total frequency. Total length we can calculate by multiplying the frequency with the number of bits assigned. Like the frequency of A was 8 and number of bits assigned was only 1 bit. So like for B, 4 into number of bits assigned 2 and for C, 2 into 3. For D, number of frequency is 1. So 1 into 4. For E, number of bits, number of uh, bits assigned is 4, so 4 divided by 16, so 
so that would be 30 by 16 and that would be 15 by e so that is the average length according to Huffman coordinate technique that's it for today